Today we're going to be telling up a very popular lock fly that originated in Scotland called the Clan Chief. So it's very popular with the salmon and trout men. Okay, I'm just going to tell you a basic one, but I also have a, a muddler version on the channel. Okay, so I'm just going to tie on a little bit of silver holographic. And then at this I'll do, I'll select as my tag. Okay, so I've just tied this on just past the shank as it starts to bend round. Then bring the thread back up to where the shank starts to level, which is halfway between the point and the barb. Then we're going to just put this oval, or sorry, this tinsel, and just bring it up to the level section. Okay, then secure them with a few turns. Two or three turns would be enough for that there. Okay, and then I'm going to use some quick dry and varnish. And this is just so the fly lasts a bit longer. You could always use braid as well, but I'm just going to put on a bit of quick dry and varnish over that tinsel. And that means it lasts more than one fish. Okay, so once the fire is dry, you can start preparing the tail. So what I'm using here is just some glue bright number four. I'm just taking off a strand and I'm just going to keep on folding it. Okay, so I'm going to fold it about four times and that will give me um, eight strands. Okay, so once we have that there, I'm going to just use the weight of the bobbin. Okay, I'm going to just pull that in. And tie that on on top okay and then i'm going to get another so this would be glue bright number 10 i think but this is just another brand okay and it's yellow fluorescent yellow and again i'm going to um, fold this over until i have eight strands as well and again using the weight of the bobbin Tie that in on top. Right up to that tag. Okay, then we just hold the tail tight. I'll just shorten that to the preferred length. What you can do as well is you can get a bit of velcro. And start spreading those fibers if you want, but I'm happy enough the way that is at the moment. And again, trim off your excess here and just bring the thread up, try and neaten things up. Level out the body a bit. A few of those wee fibers still knocking about. Okay, as we're doing that, I'm going to add on with what will be the rib. So the rib is going to be silver, silver oval or silver wire, whatever you prefer. Okay, so I'm just going to tie that on with the tail, and then I'm going to bring the thread a little bit forward again. And then we're ready to put on our, our dub body. So our dub body is black, black fur. Okay, so I'm going to just let out a bit of thread. Let my hands for a bit of a grip. And I'm going to start twisting that fur all in the same direction to create a nice stubborn noodle. Okay, I also then want to go back on myself one or two wraps, which will help anchor that dubbing in. Okay, and then we can start twisting and winding on our hackle. Every few turns, just tighten up that dubbin loop again, or dubbin noodle. If you need to add on a wee bit more fur, always better to add on extra than have to remove at the end. Okay. Make sure you leave enough room for the hackles at the head. Okay. So, fly's coming on rightly now. So what we want to do now is add on our 
or Hacklesfire Palmer. So I've got red, scarlet and black. What we're going to do is we're just going to line these up. They're similar length. Okay, I'm just going to line them up. And I am going to put the red in front. It doesn't really matter, but the way I've tied them before. Okay, and then I'm going to, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to remove the fluff off the bottom because they're going to be tied in at the butt end of the feather. Okay, very important at this stage we wax our thread. Okay, and then we just secure those in both at the same time. Don't worry about doing too many wraps here. You want it to be very, very secure. It was very easy unravel. Okay, keeping the butts out there. We don't need the trimmer access just yet. Next, we'll get our hackle pliers. Can't do this by hand if you want, but these are hackle pliers. I'm just going to grab the very tip of those feathers. And then just do one turn to start with, and then maybe four turns down the body. Okay, and then on the last turn, you can use your your rib to secure it in. So it's then maybe four or five turns up the body again. So it's three, four, and secure it at five. Okay, if you have any felco with this dude, you can rough them up the body. Tie it up to yourself in whatever way you like to face them. And then I'm just going to trim off. My feather tips. Then I'm going to trim off my rib. And again. And the excess. So I'm going to pull everything that's going forward back and secure it in. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is add on like a cloaked feather. So this is going to be slightly longer than your your palmer hackle. And again, tie it on a similar way. We want to add on our wax, but, but the big difference here is that we're tying on at the tip. Okay, so I've just secured that in where I broke the tip and brought it back again. I'll give me a five secure hole. That means the stock is tied down twice. Then we just want to double our hackle. By doing this, we just run our scissors along the center of the hackle. Okay, and then we just sweep our hackle. And you do as many turns as you want to create that bushy look. So I'm going to do three for this. But you could do more if it was going to be right at the top or for a big wave. Okay. Secure that in. At this stage, if you want to add jungle cock, you can. I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to put the stock back on itself just to get that extra security. Because we'll have plenty of space here in the head still to play with. Turn it off, and then finally, what we need to do is just a quick whip finish four or five turns and at the same time, help build up our head for security. Trim off, and then that is your clan chief, folks. Uh, a lovely looking black and red fly that has served me well and, and many others as well for, for trout and salmon. Hopefully you found that useful. As always, if you did, check out the other footage coming on screen now. Give us a like below if you enjoyed it. Until next time, thanks very much. All the best.